Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to go over a mod for Project Zomboid called Skill Recovery Journal. Um, I had a really hard time trying to figure out how to get this enabled on my server. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, it's because you too are having the same problem. Um, first step is first to make sure you're under the Steam Workshop that you have subscribed to Skill Recovery Journal and its dependency Error Magnification or Error Magnifier. Um, once you subscribe to those two, launch your game. Come over here. We're going to go to Host. Okay, and then when you go to your server, mine's Easy Mode. If you want an easy server to play on, I do have a video on that as well. But you're going to go to Server. We're going to Manage Settings. Right. Make sure you select the server that you want it on. Edit selected settings. Now there's going to be three options that we need to go over here. The first of those is the Steam Workshop. So you're going to want to make sure they show up here. And you can do this by coming down to the drop down menu, selecting it. And then once you click it, it'll come up in this box. OK, now we're actually going to do the same thing over here under mods as well. So it has to show for both the Steam Workshop in the mods tab if it doesn't show under both of those that is very likely why it's not coming up in your game as an option to craft the journal um and the final option we're going to come down to skill recovery journal and you're just going to want to select whatever it is you want to select i went ahead and checked these three because i don't really know this game very well and i'm still trying to learn it all and i don't know exactly how these other three work um and that's part of why I want the skill recovery journal, right? Because I'm still learning. So, you know, once you've got that checked, make sure one last time, just go over and make sure it actually saved Steam Workshop, Mods, and Skill Recovery Journal. Click Save. Um, once you've got it saved, we're going to go back. And then we're actually going to start the server. And I'm going to show you how you craft everything from there. All right, so once you're in game, okay, you can see I've got my, my journal up here and my pen here. You, you do need a pen as well for this. Um, you're going to open up your crafting menu. You can hit B on your keyboard or click the crafting. Um, it should show up here at the very top, bind journal together. If it doesn't, just type in the word bind and it'll come up for you. Now, you do need a few items and it does have to be in your inventory. You're going to need thread, three leather strips, You'll need either an empty notebook or a journal, and you need either glue or wood glue. Once you have these four items, you're just going to be able to craft the journal together, okay? If you don't know how to get leather, go find a pair of scissors and any leather jacket, any leather, whatever, and just shred the leather, and you'll have leather strips. Um, and then once you've done that, once you've crafted it, you'll have your journal up here. Now, to use the journal, you're going to right click on the journal and just transcribe into journal all. OK, and your dude is just going to start transcribing all the skills that you have. Um, and you'll see it slowly start to populate here. I don't have very much because I did finally just figure out how to get this mod installed. It was a pain in the butt. <laughs> it took a while. Um, so I kind of wanted to share that with you all in case anybody else was struggling with it as well. So it really is that simple. Um, just keep it on your inventory. Um, keep it with you at all times. If you die, remember where you died so you can go back to your corpse and get that journal back. Or if you know that you're about to die, you run up and stick it in a cabinet somewhere. Just remember where it was. Either way, just don't lose track of it. And as long as you can go back and recover that journal, you'll be able to recover your skills and not have to relearn everything. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for this video. Y'all have a good afternoon. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.